First at 5.30, a traffic stop on the Turnpike in Martin County is making history. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Felicia Rodriguez. I'm Todd McDermott. Deputies say they seized thousands of fentanyl pills. The drugs have an estimated street value of somewhere between 100000 and half a million dollars. Treasure Coast Bureau reporter Andrew Rozier explains how the drugs were found. Well, just a few months ago, detectives say they seized 10,000 fentanyl pills, the largest seizure ever here in the county until now. This is what 20,000 pressed fentanyl pills look like. Martin County Sheriff William Snyder says deputies discovered the drugs while conducting a traffic stop on the Turnpike Tuesday afternoon in Stewart. We're pleased that we got that kind of that seizure of drugs off the off the streets. He says they were suspicious and called the canine unit. K9 Nitro and his handler responded to the scene. We're told the drugs were wrapped up like a birthday present and placed inside a bucket. They opened up the birthday gifts and there was a very large amount of uh, pills, which we believe to be fentanyl. 42 year old Fabrizio Enrico Andara was taken into custody. According to a probable cause affidavit, Andara told deputies a man in Orlando gave him the drugs and said, Don't open these. There are a bunch of pills in there. He said he was told to drop off the pills in Miami. I hate to say this, but just a few months ago, we had the largest seizure ever at 10,000 uh, individually pressed pills. And we thought, oh, we're never going to see that much again. You know, it was a one off. Now we have double that just a few months later. Representative John Snyder says state lawmakers recently passed legislation to enhance the penalties for individuals who expose first responders to these dangerous drugs. Whether it's uh, medical personnel or law enforcement personnel who are responding uh, to these types of cases, when they are exposed, there needs to be penalties in place uh, for the individuals that do that. In Martin County, Angela Rozier, WPBF 25 News.